Selecting the database is considered as one of the most crucial tasks while hosting your workload on the cloud. But how would you make that decision based on your use case and requirement? Well, let's go ahead and discuss the same in this video. Well, the first question you should ask yourself before choosing a database service in GCP is whether your data is structured or not. See, structured data is something that has a predefined structure. Files such as JSON, YAML, log file, or any text file for that matter of fact, these are considered as a structured data. However, your static files such as your audio files, your video files, images, these are all your unstructured data. So if your data is not structured, if it is unstructured, then the next question you should ask is whether you need mobile SDK capabilities. If yes, then cloud storage for Firebase would be the best database service for your use case. If you don't need these capabilities, then cloud storage would be the best suitable database service for you. So I have created a separate video for cloud storage, I have discussed everything that you need to know about cloud storage. Link in the description as well as in the title bar. Also, like this service, if you are new to GCP, cloud storage is similar to AWS S3 or Azure storage. Right? So I guess uh, you get the idea now. What is cloud storage? This cloud storage for Firebase just adds some mobile SDK capabilities on top of cloud storage. All right. Now let's say your data is structured. Now you should be asking whether you need data analytics capabilities. If you need low latency database, then cloud big table would be the suitable choice for you. Well, cloud big table is a NoSQL column wide database optimized for heavy reads and write. So if uh, you need those capabilities, then please go ahead with cloud big table. If you don't need low latency database, then cloud BigQuery would be the better option for you. Well, BigQuery is a data warehousing solution for large amount of relational data, right? This is not a NoSQL service. This is a relational service, but it is an ideal use case for data warehousing where you can run SQL based queries on your data sets to get the required results. Let's say if your workload is not analytics, the next question you should ask is whether your data is a relational data or not. Well, what exactly is a relational data? Any data in the form of rows and columns is a relational data, right? And we manage and maintain relational data with the help of our relational database management system. If your data is relational data, then do you need horizontal scalability? If not, then Cloud SQL would be the better choice for you. Cloud SQL is a general purpose SQL database. These all services are managed. So Cloud SQL is also a managed service and it is cost effective when compared to Cloud Spanner as it doesn't support horizontal scalability and auto scaling and it supports SQL engines such as MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Server, right? All these are managed services supported by Cloud SQL. Let's say you need the capabilities such as horizontal scalability and auto scaling in case your workload unexpected and it grows as per the demand grows. Use cases such as gaming is an ideal choice for Cloud Spanner because you don't know when the traffic will be high. There could be unexpected spikes in the traffic on the server. So Cloud Spanner will be a better choice for you. This is again an expensive option, but it comes with some extra capabilities. Cloud SQL is used for general purpose SQL database needs. Now let's say if your data is not relational, that means it is no SQL data that is in the form of key value pair, or data in the form of columns, documents, 
all these type of data are NoSQL data. And if you need the capabilities of a NoSQL database, then you should be checking whether you need mobile SDK capabilities. If yes, then Cloud Firestore for Firebase would be an ideal choice for you. If you don't need these capabilities, then the next question you should ask yourself is whether you need in-memory database for, for faster caching and faster performance for frequently queried data. If yes, then memory store would be a better choice for you. Memory store comes with Redis and Memcache and provide multi-millisecond latency to your workload. But if this is not a requirement for you, then cloud data store would be an ideal choice for you. It is again a managed NoSQL service that can store and manage your data so that you could get the maximum performance out of it. Time for some quick knowledge check. Let's uh, go ahead and do that first. Right. So the first question is you need to store relational data, but it should be available globally and support auto scaling. Which cost effective database service you would use? You need to perform ETL operations on structured data. The service should support low latency and heavy reads and writes. Which service you should use in this use case? You need to perform large scale SQL based online analytical processing on your structured relational data. Which service you should use? You need to store NoSQL data at a large scale with complex hierarchical structure. Which service you should use? All right, that's it for this video, guys. If you know the answer of these questions, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any difficulty understanding in any of the concepts that we have discussed so far, feel free to reach out and I will be more than happy to help you out. I hope you would have learned something out of it and this session was somewhat valuable to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family and colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day.